Hi, I'm Dr. Scott Jensen, and I am running to be the next governor of Minnesota. It's time to say thanks. We have gone through a grueling campaign season to the endorsement convention last weekend. There are so many people to thank, but I want to say thank you to all the people that came February 1st to precinct caucuses, and to all the people that went to the BPOU convention, to the ones who were elected as delegates and alternates, and to the ones who weren't, and then to the CD conventions, and ultimately to everyone there at the endorsing convention in Rochester. It's a big deal. Nobody on the sidelines. Everyone in the arena. But when we talk about the arena, we have to talk about who really got bruised and bloodied, marred by dust and abrasions. It was the candidates. I want to say thank you to Mike Marty. The guy's a rock solid small business person who I spoke with this morning. Ton of common sense. Thanks, Mike. I want to speak to Senator Michelle Benson, a person with a work ethic and a knowledge base that doesn't quit. Thank you, Senator Benson. I want to talk about Senator Paul Gazelka, a person who has been in the trenches, who fought back. He stood. Thank you, Senator Gazelka. And I want to talk about my colleague in medicine, Dr. Neil Shah. He stood up. During the campaign, his wife had their fourth child. He spoke clearly, crisply, powerfully, and never, never let go of the Constitution. Thank you, Dr. Shah. And to Mike Murphy, you are the mayor of a community that has led. You have helped lead that community, lead the way. You have been a powerful, plain-spoken, energizing, conservative voice. Thank you, Mayor Mike. And I want to talk to Kendall Qualls. Your voice, your story, your conviction, your energy. We need you. We need you to be the voice for years to come. Kendall, you made me a better candidate. Thank you. And I want to say thank you also to Sheriff Rich Stanick. Rich, I don't know if you could possibly know how many prayers you have been in. Everybody wants you to enjoy an entirely full recovery from the auto accident. Thank you for getting in the arena and bringing your voice particularly to the issue of public safety. Folks, the words go like this, and these words are directed to my challengers. We have stood together in the arena. We have all suffered slings and arrows, and each one of us has fought for our principles, our businesses, our freedom, our faith. But now it's time. It's time for us to unite. It's time for us to take the fight to Tim Walls. And when we do, we win. We heal Minnesota. And we never look back. Let's join together. Thank you.